Problem number one, it says find the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts of the given equation. So here's this given equation. I know that it's a parabola facing upwards here, but I want to know where is it going to hit the x-intercept and the y-intercept. All you got to do is think on this, and we seem to mess this up, and it's really not hard to do. If I have my graph here, here's my little graph, my x-axis, my y-axis. If I want to know the x-intercept, think about it, I'm sitting right here on that. What is that point? You've gone over some amount, which you don't have a clue what, right? But how high up have you gone? You've gone up none. So you're looking for some point, it's an ordered pair of something comma zero. What value do you obviously know zero? The x or the y? The y value. So to find the x-intercept, we're going to set the y value to zero. In this equation, that means we're going to set this equal to zero. So we have zero is equal to x squared plus 8x minus 9. i got to solve this for x to figure out what that value is right there. Notice, hey, x squared plus an x minus 9, that looks like it's going to basically factor, I bet. Yeah, it's going to factor here. That's going to factor down. Well, 3 and 3 gives me 9. There's no way that's going to give me 8. But what about a 9 and 1? Yes. This is going to factor down to a positive 9, x minus 1, equaling 0. Because that'll give you 9x, that'll give you minus 1x, which gives you plus 8x. So either this piece is 0 or this piece is 0. So we know x plus 9 has to come out to be 0 or the x minus 1. Solving this, I get negative 9, add 1 to both sides, and positive 1. So it crosses the x-axis. Remember, it's a parabola. It's coming down as hitting at 1, 0, and then it's hitting over here at negative 9 up 0. So that, the x-intercept, occurs in two places here because that parabola comes and hits and then goes back up. So I got two. I got a negative 9, 0, and also 1, 0. Now if I think of the y-intercept, again, what I always do, I draw my little graph here, my x-axis, y-axis, and I say, okay, it's the y-intercept, so where's it crossing this guy? Well, where's that point? I've gone over, well, I know I've gone over none. How much have I gone up? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find. So I know this is going to be 0, comma something. I got. How am I going to figure that out? Well, I gave you the x value. The x value's got to be 0. If you plug 0 in here, you're going to have y is equal to 0 squared plus 8 times 0 minus 9. So it's 0 plus 0 minus 9. You get negative 9 as your y value. So it's got to be at 0, comma, negative 9. So what happened really on the graph, it swung in, hit down here, and then swung back up. So the y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 9. The x-intercept occurred in two locations at negative 9, 0, and also at the ordered pair 1, 0. Problem number one, just draw out this and think, okay, where am I? on each one of these instead of trying to remember, oh, do I put zero here for the x value or do I put it for the y value? Just, you got to think about mathematics to make it make sense instead of trying to remember rules that you're going to forget later on.